here we are out in Latrobe, Pennsylvania at Keystone Drag Strip testing our V1710 99A Allison engine. We have this test rig for calibrating engines for airplanes. This particular engine is going in a P40N. This is an 8.8 .8 supercharger, and we just thought you might be interested in how on our calibrated dyno we are able to test them and with all the different parameters, fuel flow, horsepower, torque, and we thought you'd be interested in viewing this. This is the startup of the engine. You'll see some smoke from extra fuel. That's on the primer starting up. Okay, what you see here now is gradually warming the engine up. This number here is in gallons per hour. So that's the fuel flow meter. There's the drive shaft, the output drive shaft, going back to the gearbox and the torque transducer. Gradually warming the engine up. This generally takes about 10 or 15 minutes to get the, all the oil and the coolant up to temperature. Okay, here's what we're seeing. We're continuing to warm up. Uh, we're at 1200 RPMs and the manifold pressure uh, to the right of it doesn't mean anything, but you can see our coolant temperature our oil temperature is moved up to the acceptable range for us to go ahead and continue up on the power and do our demonstration. Okay, this is our first setting which would be cruise power or 2330.2. There's gallons per hour again at that particular power setting. Here's the horsepower, torque, for that particular RPM. These are the, the RPMs. Different coolant temperatures. This isn't so relevant. You can see it on the instrument panel. But we do have uh, the capabilities of downloading this information. You can see the EGT's exhaust gas temperature, which is important for us to know how much the mixture, what the mixture is doing. You'll notice the oil in and oil out temperature is a big difference. Twenty six hundred RPMs and thirty seven inches manifold pressure. Just thought I would mention that's four pounds of boost for Americans, you know, for their cars. That's how much manifold pressure there is at a hundred percent power for supercharged engines. There's the gallons per hour. At this particular power, eight hundred and sixty horsepower, a hundred percent power, that's where the airplane or the engine can run indefinitely and the cooling system on the aircraft should be able to support it indefinitely at that 100% what, what Allison considered to be 100% power, sustained power. Next power setting we'll be going up to is takeoff power. This is takeoff power 52 inches or 3,000 RPMs. This is what the aircraft would be leaving the ground at. The equivalent of 11.5 pounds of boost. There's how much fuel it would be using, 155 gallons per hour. There's the horsepower, 1,281, 82 horsepower at takeoff. EGT gauges, coolant temperatures. We regulate this very carefully with all of our machines. Next power setting is what they call war emergency or something when the pilot was really needing to call on emergency power from the engine. This is 3,000 RPMs and 60 inches. That's the equivalent to 15.5 pounds of boost for American car lovers. There's the gallons per hour, 182. There's the horsepower. As I continue to increase the throttle, 
to get it up to 60 inches you'll see the ultimate horsepower. All the gauges have to sustain themselves at 60 inches. Everything has to remain acceptable, all the parameters. And there's the conclusion of the test. We'll go back to an idle and sit, sit there for 1300 RPMs for a minute to get the engine back to a normalized position. And then shut it off.